Hello, my name is Ernest Dickerson and this is Trailers from Hell. Today I'm here to talk to you about one of the neglected masterpieces of African American cinema, Charles Burnett's To Sleep With Anger. Let's see the trailer. As a film, it's tough to classify. On the surface, it looks like a family drama set in Los Angeles with an African American family. But there's more than that going on in this film. The opening credits suggest that this film will be a parable. And that's partly correct, but it goes deeper than that. To me, this is a horror film. But a horror film of the most sly and mysterious kind, where that stranger at the door with the smile on his face actually turns out to be an emissary of evil. The movie starts by sketching the lives of Gideon, the retired patriarch of a middle-class African-American family, his wife Susie, and their two married sons, the oldest of which has adopted his father's God-fearing ways. The youngest, caught up in America's money fever with his ambitious wife, looks down on Gideon's old-fashioned values. One day they get an unexpected visit from Harry Minchin, an old friend of Gideon's from their earlier days back down south. Gideon almost immediately falls into a coma, and Harry, starts to take over, causing chaos in the family. Harry Minchin is played by Danny Glover in one of his greatest, if not his greatest performance, especially with that smile. His Harry Minchin is like a figure out of folktale, the trickster or demonic character who revels in spreading discord in the household. Using old stories and tricks, sets brother against brother, and if he ain't the devil himself, he's a close relative. Burnett's film deals with the warring elements of African-American tradition including black magic versus old time religion and rural idiosyncrasies versus urban respectability. Harry the trickster is full of tricks and contradictions. He plays a simple man, but he quotes Pushkin. He's all about tradition, but describes himself as a modern man. One of the most perverted scenes in this film is the one where Harry, with Gideon in a coma upstairs and the house in an uproar, lounges in the living room in an open robe, cutting his toenails on an old newspaper. The house guest from hell who just won't leave. This movie is ripe for rediscovery, so please give it a try.